Poor people shouldn't be having kids because they can't even take care of themselves. It's a privilege to have a kid and not everyone deserves to have a kid. As a former teacher, I can confidently say there are many parents out there that don't deserve the kids that they have. Parents that have kids when their kids were already taken from the system. Parents who don't tell their child that they have a disability and they keep that from them their whole life. Parents that don't take their kids to doctors because it's too expensive. Parents that don't do homework or related service provider practices with their child at home and you wonder why your kid is not progressing. Having a kid to save your life. That's not how that works. Parents that say they gentle parent when they're really doing permissive parenting learn the difference. Kids not wearing helmets. You are a bad parent. Shame on you. When your kid comes to school smelling like cigarettes or Snoop Dogg, look, I don't care what you do in your own time, but how is your kid coming to school smelling like a full-on party at 7.30 in the morning? Spanking your child. And then when the issue of hating comes up with these students, it's parents that get so mad at the teacher or incredibly mad at the child for when this occurs. And it's like, parents are the child's first teacher. And if you're spanking at home, then yeah, they're gonna probably be hitting at school. It is baffling to think what kind of parents Nate has come across. Nate wants to get across the harsh reality life as a parent needs to be. Being a parent isn't always the funnest job in the world. And sometimes we gotta look like the bad guy. It's okay for your kids to be mad at you. Jesus. Missing parent-teacher conferences. I don't care if you have to work. It is two to three days out of the freaking year for about 30 minutes to 45 minutes, if it's really long, that you need to put aside for your child's education. If you can't do that, no seatbelts or car seat. Uh, you're dumb. Like, no excuses. Like, you know that you need to be having these for your child's safety. Not taking your child to the dentist. Pediatric dental care is so important and it's unfortunately brushed under the rug so much. Like, no. As soon as your kid starts getting teeth, you should be taking your kid to the dentist. When a parent's breath smells like alcohol, yo, this is always a rough start to the day or an unfortunate end to the day when a parent comes for a drop off or a pickup. And it's like, oh man, I can't let this kid go home. Oh man, it's like, man, why y'all gotta be doing shit like that? Nate has received hate online due to his parenting opinions. Nonetheless, these issues must be addressed before it's too late. This is why we don't have kids reading on grade level. This is why we have fourth and fifth graders who don't know letter names and sounds. This is why we have high schoolers who don't know how to work with each other and get into fights in the classroom or with the teacher. And you're gonna blame capitalism, you're gonna blame America, you're gonna blame the systems and how flawed they are. Be so for real. No one is responsible for the outcome of your child other than you as the parent who brought them into this world. Like this is just trashy parenting. You have effectively raised an incompetent adult who doesn't know how to talk to women, who doesn't understand boundaries, who I don't even know can read a stop sign. These are the future. And then you want to blame America? You want to blame teachers? You want to blame doctors? You want to blame related service providers? You want to blame capitalism? Like, be so for real. Parents, you have effectively raised an incompetent adult as a result of your inability to parent because you selfishly wanted a baby, not a child, that you had a parent for the rest of your life. Trashy parenting. Nate is definitely not pulling his punches when it comes to explaining the bad parenting he has experienced in his time as a teacher. It is crazy to hear some of the instances that some parents think is acceptable in raising a child of their own. And Nate hopes that his videos will shine a light on a growing problem, that children need mindful parents in order to grow up to be fully developed, capable adults themselves. The comments section were as riled up as Nate was, especially when it came to car safety, saying, I work at a school and I once saw a parent drive up to pick up their kid while the baby was in her lap. And I've seen some people put the infant car seat in the car without strapping it in. I don't know what's going through some people's minds to think this is acceptable, but I'll just leave that with you. As always, thanks for watching Happiest. If you like this video, then be sure to follow our other social pages for more eye-opening videos like this. And if you have any of your own videos you'd like to share, be sure to send them in.